of punches. Overhand right, overhand left, body shots, uh, uppercuts, everything. Junior welterweight champion of the world, El Orgullo de Materni. Gusev has in the height and the reach. It's not wildly dramatic, but it's... World title attraction brought to you by TGB Promotions and Samson. The red corner wearing silver and black trunks. He is fighting out of Johan Yergashen. Subriel Matia. Low here is low. Low. I gave you guys your instruction in the dressing room. I expect to clean. The pro experience working his 376 professional fight. Hedemias Ponce. Last February, Ergashev, he's trained by Sugar Hitchers and hey, Ergashev, he's a pure power puncher. Round number one. 85 punches per round. In his last fight against Ponce, he was 38 punches in that round. But it, then came back and Ergashev oh, whipping well, those. Wonder, should Ergashev start the same way? That's right. You have to start fast if you're Ergashev, right? Matias, he, he heard him. Again, there's a power puncher that we're watching right now, and we'll, we'll see how this person. They not fall, but they're going to keep shooting. He's going to keep throwing that left hand, miss it, not get it in. And once that was against Petro Sananian with a left hook. In their first meeting, of course, Ergoshev, and there's that left hand, that laser-like left for Ergoshev. <laughs> <Al Bernstein. laughs> it's possible. And you know, the reason we reference... Don't leave it off. Yeah, you got to take that jab away from Ergoshev, especially the left. You're going to see this so fast. Ergoshev's first attempt at a title. For he is fighting for the first time in 15 months in August of last year at 140 pounds by the ring and acquitting himself well here in West Ponce. Uh, this is like a replay, except Ponce was even more dramatic. He is straight, straight up in front of him. Yes, after. he's right in front of him, making it a lot easier for Ergoshev. Definitely for a guy that's walking straight mm. forward. Wow, beautiful combination, straight left. Oh, Things God. could change radically <laughs> when we take double jeopardy in round two. <laughs> But what for the defending champ in the first three minutes? That one to the body pushed Subriel Matias back, uh, knocked him off balance. Subriel Matias, keep the right hand up, boy, because those lefts are going to keep coming. He to Ergashev. For him, combinations and left hooks. Go to the Ergashev. Land the left early. Yes, he did that. Body shot. Yes, he should keep throwing it. Well, and round oh. number champion at bay. Yeah, and that's something he does so good. Oh. Four punch to the range that Ergoshev is, is maintaining. Pushing with that jab, taking that hat. Taming the defending champion. Shojahon Ergoshev really going to war. Continues and you know, to play Matias like a drum. Right, and one of the, 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 the effectively as well. Now, Matias wants to get that left hook in. He's got to put straight. Uh, his frame is oh, like straight forward, straight. so making it a lot easier for Ergoshev to land that straight left from Ergoshev. Matias had 100 amateur fights. KO! Oh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> for Ergachev after you mentioned yeah. it before perfect distance to land these combinations yeah. he still hasn't landed he's looking for it a few times he, he it seemed like he was going to throw right it. now he's not quite getting his punches up also longest layoff for Ergachev this career does he that's the punch he's going to start throwing more of now body shot by Ergachev coming into his right leaning in on Matias cuffs him with the right hook and he's, he's done with the combination but he's feeling comfortable inside so far there's that left hook by Matias the top of the hooks. Yeah. And the left hook, Matias now yeah. on coming on. And it's starting to heat up in a in a big way. Stop at the belt. None other than Iron Mike Tiger in Las Vegas. So many of those memories right here on show. That was the uppercut that Abner talked about. Throwing good, really good combinations. And as we said, mixing it even at the left hook. And and ultimately end up landing a few more punches than Ergoshev. This is round three. Left right hook combination that has been money for the challenger throughout the fight. You can't do that. Effective jab from Matias, and Matias with some good body work. There it is, he's pushing with that jab. And now everything, power punches are everything other than the jab. And you see, 
shots. Matias starting to walk down. Ergushev chopping left hands. Ergushev leaning. The point where Ergushev might get a little frustrated too. Like, you know, I'm hitting this guy with all these shots. He's not going to fight closer to Matias. Yeah, he's clinching. And, yeah, and doing a lot of clinching. But the, just you. But he's leaning in, not throwing a lot of punches. Is Ergushev and Matias. Uh, to, to his right. And, uh, you know, he maintains the, 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 the distance. Oh, there it is. You want to keep turning Matias. Down on the left hook as much as he normally does and give Ergushev credit for that. Left hand that splits the guard followed by the right hook curling around the guard. Matias has faced the lefty in two of his last four fights so he's used to this. If you face Matias you're going to see uppercuts and left hooks all the... Sitting down on his punches. Less than half a minute left in the third. And the thing about Matias is... Like, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Hey. No. Hold Ergushev digs downstairs, so does Matias. Oh Terrific stuff through three rounds. Again with DraftKings, Amal Shah for an update on tonight's over under. Under on the main event coming up between Benavides and Andre. It's ten and a half. And Matias trained by Hakob Nahar. Ergushev trained by Matias with Nahar. And they've been, a, they, he likes the combination. You know, he, he's been unstoppable. Yeah, another thing that Ergushev has not seen. to withstand his power and be right in front of him. And I think that is why Ergushev is having trouble. Those 12 first round knockouts came from those yeah. kind of yep. punches. Yes. But the, the, as Gabriel Matias, you know, it's hard. And Matias again looking to take advantage of the career long layoff. Matias batters him with a couple of left hooks upstairs and goes back to the Ooh. well. And there's a couple. David Benavides in our main event have something very much in common. You might discourage them for a little while. I didn't have him for him a lot. I took him just yeah. one round to yeah, figure exactly. it out. <laughs> you know, being distracted by him and not hurt by him as well. One thing I would do want to see from a... And Ergushev now not being able to maintain the distance. He goes to the body about 25% of the time, which is below the average. But here he's starting to... And Matias teeing off on Ergushev in the corner. And now able to... Stop the attack momentarily. Pressure from Matias. He's taken so much punishment in the last two rounds. Ergushev undefeated. 23-0 with 20 knockouts in his first fourth round. He has just thrown his 100th punch of the round. Okay. A fantastic fourth for Matias. You don't have to fight Southpaw. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Ergushev in the corner, still landing shots, good shots. Those are the kind of shots that he is such a good combination puncher. There's, there's like six punches in that combination. The proper distance that we saw early in the fight. Yeah, has he ever? I mean, he's walking Ergushev back, constant throwing punches from Matias. I mean, such a throwback fighter. It's only a right hand that's going to help me against the lefty, which I totally agree with. He's got, he said, the left, mixing in the jab, mixing in all kinds of punches here. Urgishev now, his mission is corralled in the corner again, trying to dodge some of these punches. Gets hit with a smart man, smart man. Yeah. He had to at that moment. That uppercut landed really clean in his seat. He's a juggernaut. He really is astonishing. Take that half step back. Get back to your range. Get back to yeah. your volume. You're, you're, you got amazing. a guy like Matias. Not as easy. Himself laboring on the ropes. Then has to avoid. Bending over, it's going to be opening to this type of pressure. No. He seems tired already, Ergushin. Yeah. Oh, that's, and who is? Stamina number, and the will of Ergushin. Number, number, number. The tempo of the fight. And let's go back to round number one and parts of round number two. Remember what Ergushin yes. was? Sharp jab from Matias. May have been the adrenaline for Ergushin. The bar, his toughest opponent to date as we reach round six. First title defense as the challenger, Ergashev, complains about... I mean, not just the knockout, it was the stoppage, it's just brutally just punished him. I, 
I was a corollary to all that was happening. And but. by the way, Al, just a quick stat here. This is he started not fast in round one, and then was able to. And once whoever's in front of him realizes I can't put this guy away, then early on, Ergashev came out. There's the left hand that pushed Matias back. He landed a good straight range. But once the the range changed, Abner, we saw this from me doing so with those combinations that left hand. And that's what he switched on to softball. And his coach told him.